Imagine you're an OWU student in 1901, standing in this very room. If you were to look around, what would you see? Beginning in 1873, uh, the third floor of Merrick Hall became home to the cabinets, six collections of natural history specimens spanning the disciplines of botany, zoology, geology, and anthropology. Purchased in 1859, the Prescott cabinet was home to 10,000 specimens, including a mounted albatross, an albino porcupine, and a blind cave fish. Of particular interest is the young orangutan, purchased in 1859 from Borneo in 1852, making it quite possibly the oldest orangutan in the United States. Looming above where I'm standing right now are the giant ground sloth, Megatherium, and the giant armadillo, Glyptodon, part of the Ward set of casts he purchased in 1850, 1869. Bus of Linnaeus, Cuvier, Geoffroy, and Buffon survey the collection from Europe's, uh, from on top of the Prescott cabinet. Next to the entrance stands cases housing minerals such as topaz, amethyst, and quartz, uh, and others holding freshwater marine and terrestrial shells from Singapore, Australia, Mozambique, and Chile. Nearby, corals, sea sponges, and sea fans wait to be inspected by curious visitors. In yet more cases, one sees Devonian f fish, carboniferous plants, and a baby mammoth tooth. Not to be outdone, the anthropology collection showcases thousands of Native American artifacts from the Holy Land and relics from the Holy Land and traditional art from the Pacific Islands. With the turn of the century and the development of modern biological methods, such as molecular genomics, mathematical modeling, and the emergence of model organisms, natural history collections were perceived as outdated and allowed to decline in what one scientist called the tyranny of the test tube. Ohio Wesleyan once curated the largest collection of shells in the Midwestern United States until many were donated to the Smithsonian and Ohio, Ohio State in 1970s. In a similar vein, during Prohibition, it was discovered that the alcohol used to preserve a two-headed calf had been disappearing faster than normal. <laughs> it was later revealed that the night watchman had been siphoning off the alcohol for what he believed to be a no more noble endeavor, the production of illicit moonshine. Today, OU students and the o Delaware community are expanding and using the collections to explore Earth's, uh, the diversity of Ohio's insects, plants, and wildlife parasites as the 21st century heats up, more and more scientists are realizing the importance of natural history collections in exploring Earth's past and projecting its future.